It has been a long three years for the family of Shannon Graves, waiting to see justice served against all of those who have been charged in the case. As First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us, final justice for Shannon is now a step closer. As she has for so many other hearings, Debbie DePaul was in court again this afternoon, waiting on the fourth and final defendant charged in her sister's death to take a deal with prosecutors. Your Honor, the state understands the defendant will change his previous entered plea of not guilty and enter pleas of guilty. Andrew Herman was accused of helping in the dismemberment of Shannon Graves after she was killed by one-time boyfriend Arturo Novoa three years ago. Prosecutors say Herman then helped others in the case by moving the victim's mutilated remains around the area for months until they were finally discovered. After the charges and potential penalties were explained, Herman whispered what Debbie's already heard from three others in this case. Guilty. It's a validation of the whole thing, um, hearing them. It's like they're taking responsibility for what they did. Um, but like I said, too, I wish they had to say it louder. Herman pled to counts of tampering with evidence, abuse of a corpse, and engaging in a pattern of corrupt activity, as well as an unrelated drug trafficking charge. Lawyers for both sides are recommending he be sentenced to 12 years in prison. While the plea brings DePaul another step closer to finally seeing justice for Shannon, Debbie admits it'll be difficult to put all this behind her. But to have the weight off of my shoulders of going through all of this for three years, um, it's, it's, um, it's a good feeling and it's going to be a larger relief at that point. That day could be March 11th when Herman is sentenced. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.